Hello. This video is all about using Microsoft's sdelete command. Now, this is given by Microsoft. You can download it over here. Basically, the link we should put in the description, and it's by Mark Rosnovich. He's extremely well known, multiple books, um, very, very well known for his internal knowledge of how Windows operates. Anyways, the tool that we're going to be using, sdelete, can be used for a number of different things. One, it can be used to securely erase data on your disk so that others cannot gain access to it. Okay, so for example, let's say you had a disk and you had a secret document and etc. We've just created a dummy over here. Now, that's one way. Another way is for it to actually be used to delete or zero out the free space on a virtual disk that can then be used to shrink that disk. So for example, if you're using virtual machines and you've had lots of files on them, and it has grown, but now the free space is so much, but you're unable to shrink it, you can use this to zero out the free space and then you can shrink it. So let's show you what it can be done. The first thing, we're just gonna try and securely delete this. Let's start by saying how to use the tool. First, you need to download it. It comes as a zip file and then you unzip it and we unzipped it to the desktop. We just use the sdelete instead of sdelete64. And we opened up PowerShell by basically going over here, typing in PowerShell, and then running that. Once it opened, because it was in the desktop, we then chose. When we opened it, it came up with our user. Just change it to desktop cd desktop. And the name of the file is sdelete.exe. If you want to see how to use it, you press that and it'll give you the different commands. Now we have over here on our E drive. So because we're using PowerShell, we need to put a little dot and a backslash and then sdelete. And then we want to remove this file and all contents within it. So we'll be using the recurse subdirectories option. So it'll be S and then it'll be E, which is, sorry, it'll be E backslash and then the folder was test. Okay, so if we run this, that is automatically deleted the file, securely deleted it. And we could have chosen the number of passes over here by using the number of overwrite passes. The more you do it, the secure the delete is because how it does, it rewrites it with random information and it's almost impossible to get back. Now, if you want to zero out the drive, all you need to do is S delete. And then we're gonna type Z. And our drive is, in this case, it's the E drive. So that's all we need to do. Once again, passes, how many passes do you want? It also clears out the master file table. Okay, the same could have been used. Instead of using the zero out command, we could have used the clear free space option. Okay, it takes a little bit longer sometimes to use that. So it'll be the same, basically dash C and E. And it'll go through the same option. Okay, so quite simply, this is a excellent tool for deleting files very securely if you have very important information. And also if you have virtual hard disks where you need to shrink them and get rid of the empty space. Okay, so hopefully this video has helped.
Thank you for watching.